Howdy guys, Jimmy Song here. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Bitcoin timestamp overflow bug. Now, this is something that we've known for some time, uh, essentially since Satoshi created Bitcoin. Uh, but I wanted to describe it in this video and tell you exactly what it is and explain to you why it's, uh, it's, it's something of concern to developers. Um, so uh, if you don't know what a Unix timestamp is, a Unix timestamp is sort of a computer science geeky thing to measure you know, what the date or time is. So um, uh, this started back in, uh, in January of 1970, something like that. They, they created something called a Unix timestamp. And it's just the number of seconds since January, January 1st, 1970 GMT, right? Like, and that, that's what a Unix timestamp is. So it's a number that keeps incrementing um, one per second. And, uh, and you know, we are, our current time right now, let me, let me, I forget exactly what time right now it, it is, but um, I think uh, if you do um, date plus percent S on a Unix command line, that will get you it. Um, it is right now, uh, one billion five hundred thirty-seven million five seven hundred fifty-eight thousand two hundred and four seconds um, after January first, nineteen seventy. Now that that's a Unix timestamp, right? Um, and you can tell now, like exactly when I recorded this video. Uh, but that that that's how you get the Unix timestamp, and that uh, that is typically uh, used in a lot of computer science applications because it makes it a lot easier to compare time and stuff like that. If you have like January, um, you know, seventh, nineteen eighty eight versus you know December first, uh, nineteen eighty seven, like it's it's the comparison gets a little more difficult instead of just comparing two numbers. You have to compare the year first and then the month then the day, and then you have to translate all that stuff. So um, Unix timestamp is what programmers use. Anyway, uh, the Bitcoin block header has a timestamp field. And that timestamp field is, is necessary because you need to recalculate uh, the difficulty adjustment every two weeks. Um, so if you think about it, the, the new difficulty every two weeks is, uh, is set so that uh, you know, blocks are found at about 10 minutes, uh, once every 10 minutes based on the last two weeks of blocks or last 2016 blocks. Um, and based on that, they, uh, the network figures out a new difficulty. So that timestamp field is important and it needs to be in the block header because like clients, uh, like wallets or whatever, need to be able to verify that the right new difficulty is being made. Anyway, um, one of one of the mistakes that Satoshi made, honestly, is uh, uh, Satoshi made the timestamp field only four bytes. Now, four bytes is 32 bits, and 32 bits can store a number from zero to two to the 32nd minus one. Um, and that's because uh, there's 32 or eight bytes per or eight bits per byte, and there's four bytes, so that's 32 bits. And each bit can be zero or one, so there are you know, two to the 30 second possible states and you start at zero. So it's uh, two to the 30 second minus one. So if you calculate out two to the 30 second minus one uh, seconds after January 1st, 1970, you get to sometime in February, 2106. After that point, you can't increment that number because it's only four bytes. It goes back to zero. So you need to do something about that. Now, there are people that are claiming that it can be done as a soft fork, and there probably is. Um, I just I just haven't heard of it. Um, and you know, you might you might uh, like sort of like freeze the time, for example, and just say uh, like have a soft fork that says you you have to have this as the particular timestamp, and then have some sort of like new difficulty. Um, uh, part in like the Coinbase or something like that, and I, I don't know. There, there, there are various ways to make this a soft fork, but they're they're a little bit ugly. Uh, you could also do it as a hard fork, um, but you know it, it doesn't need to be executed until two thousand one hundred six. Um, there's this. Uh, there's also some uh, some people that mistakenly believe it is two thousand and thirty eight. 
that this bug goes into play or about 20 years from now. And, uh, and the reason why they think that is because they think uh, the timestamp is a signed integer, in which case it would be 2 to the 31st, not 2 to the 32nd, because you need an extra bit for um, the plus or minus sign. It's not signed. It's, uh, it's signed, meaning it could be negative. It's, uh, it's always positive, so it's an unsigned integer. And that means that it's 2 to the 32nd. If, if it's 2 to the 31st, uh, you, you, uh, you have about 2 billion seconds, which ends up being about uh, 2038. So that's the difference between, um, you know, uh, you know 20, 2 to the 31st and 2 to the 32nd or signed versus unsigned. So it's not 2038, it's 2106. And, and, but we need, we need to do something about it uh, eventually. Now, when, when's that going to happen? How is it going to be done? Um, is it going to be a hard fork? Is it going to be a soft fork? Is somebody going to discover something between now and then? Um, How is that going to get handled? Uh, should we do it right now in the Bitcoin client uh, or do it later? What is going to happen? And is it going, uh, going to cause a chain split, all that stuff? These are all good questions. Um, that said, we, we have plenty of time to think about it. And most of us probably won't be alive by the time that this this is actually like in play. Although who knows, like uh, there, there, there may be some of you that are alive um, and maybe the, they'll be interviewing you on some, whatever they're watching uh, in the future about like what it was like when they were discussing this issue back in 2018. Anyway, uh, that's what I wanted to talk about. That's what I wanted to make clear. Hopefully that helps you. If it doesn't, uh, let me know. Um, but that's that's what, the, what that bug is. By the way, um, this is how you know that a lot of hard forks don't know what they're doing. They didn't fix any of this. Uh, <laughs> despite the fact that they could hard fork and change it to eight bytes or something like that, uh, including the non-space. Honestly, the non-space in the header should also be like eight, 12, 16 bytes, something like that. Uh, but you know, a lot, a lot of these, a lot of these forks didn't change that at all. And it's uh it speaks to the fact that they weren't really interested in technological improvement. They just wanted to, you know, like go and control things on their own. But I, I mean, that's another discussion for another day. Hopefully that helps you. This song is done. <laughs>